Hey, this is Jay Noonan from the Foxwoods Resort and Casino, and we're here in the poker room during the 3500 main event of the Foxwoods Poker Classic. We had a 226 player start. We're down to about 147 on day one. I'm here with uh, the one and only Matt Stout, who unfortunately is already busted, but uh, already, I, already, already, already. But but I, I I it was a while ago. I gave him a break so he could go chill out and do what he does best. So uh, tell me a little bit about your day. I know one the best. Uh, yeah, I had a pretty gross day. I actually had two spots where I could have busted early on. I had top two pair against the set and, like, kind of played it small and ended up not losing too much. But uh, then I had ace-king against kings and ended up, like, not squeezing and just flatting, just kind of gave up on it. And the guy ended up having king. So I could have stacked off either one of those spots and, like, was kind of trying to play it small because it's day one. But eventually, like... Lost a coin flip with sevens against Ace Jack, and then got it in with a uh, top pair against like the nut flush on. I got shot, so uh, not the best day. So you're feeling better now, right? Uh, yeah. I've never actually been instructed to go smoke before an interview. Like first time ever. I've actually felt bad smoking before interviews before, but this time he actually told me that I should go get go get high before I uh, come do this interview. I, 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 pl on tilt. Exactly. No, I played your strengths, and obviously we know what your strength is. Oh, of course. <laughs> All right, now tell us a little bit what's going on. I know uh, you're an East Coast guy, but um, been spending a lot of time in Vegas. What you got going on with that? I know you just did a made a big move there. Oh, yeah, I just moved out of my apartment and buying half of uh, Paul Waska's house because he's always in Colorado anyway, and he's got a pretty sick house out there that's just sitting there. And uh, I figured I'd get in on that and uh, taking over the master bedroom. I'm going to let him be house guest when he's actually <laughs> out there for tournaments because he's pretty lazy. I've been getting him out on the tour a little bit more this year, right. but he likes he's kind of a homebody. He likes to hang out at home in Colorado and be lazy in his little green city of Boulder. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Now, um, what do you, you got on the schedule coming up? Obviously, the series is coming up pretty soon, but uh, between now and then, anything big planned or just kind of taking it by ear? Uh, yeah, I think I'm probably going to play the uh, Bellagio 25K. There's the Mohegan Sun NAPT event that's coming up, too. I'm kind of torn now. Since I busted so early, I might go home for a week and a half and kind of unpack since I, like, moved in and just left Vegas right. to, go, to go to Bay 101 and then play the circuit event in AC and then come up here. So I'm, like, on the fence right now. I'm, I may book a flight tonight. I have no idea what I'm going to do. <laughs> cool, cool. Now, um, you got some friends still in the field. Any idea who you might like running deep in this one? Uh, yeah, one of my friends and my protege, Matt Isles, already had uh, about 80K. He's dusted off some because he's still – a little bit spewy, but uh, he's still got about 50000 right now. Uh, he's a I Pay Your Rent online, right? Yeah, he plays his Papa Matt and I Pay Your Rent. Another one of my very good friends who I help teach is uh, Joe Capuccio. He's still in the field. He plays as Joey Cap and Capuccio 816. He's a, a lot more solid player. I'm, I'm not sure how he's doing right now. I just mean solid that he's on the tighter side, not that he's necessarily better, just... Uh, I don't expect the stack to be fluctuating as much. Matt had, <laughs> Matt had like 80 or 90 grand in like the second level. I'm still sitting there with starting stack, just yeah. grinding it out. Looking over at him, just stacking up 5K chips, like ba-bam. <laughs> they have a monster table. Everybody at that table looks like they got at least 50K right now. It's like, it's, it's ridiculous the amount of chips at that table. Yeah, they got some psychos. That's a pretty young table. Yeah. The younger the table, the more aggressive it tends to be. Definitely a lot more three bets once the average age gets <laughs> under 30. It gets a little crazy. Exactly. Well, brother, I really appreciate you taking the time. So sorry you busted out early, but, you know, I'll catch you at the next one, maybe before you bust this time. So, But uh, Mr. Matt Stout, famous for taking the longest breaks in the history of poker. So <laughs> I know Savage gave you some, some stuff for that LAPT, too. Yeah, so he, I yeah. always complain to him when he's uh, making a 10-minute break. So. <laughs> He uh he likes to single me out yeah. when he's talking about break times now. He yeah. actually sent me a text message like a few hours after I busted Bay One One. Is like, sorry I didn't get to break your balls more. I was really having fun with it. Like, thanks, Matt. <laughs> yeah, we, he appreciates that. So, <laughs> all right, man, White, we appreciate it. Uh, best of better luck in the next tournament, especially the Bellagio 25K. That'd be a big one to hit. Yeah, that would be nice. That would be nice. All right, with Mr. Matt Stout, I'm Jay Noonan from the Foxwood Resort and Casino. Have a great evening.